matter. But like the thing about Jimmy Iovine though, what I really liked is me and him have a very, very similar trajectory in terms of the way we consume shit. Mm -hmm. Because he started off as a producer. A producer is very similar to a product development person uh, for fashion as for music, yeah. you know? He started off as a producer. He worked like a fucking animal for a, a couple years and everything like that. Mm -hmm. And then what he did was he decided to start his own record company. And he started, did he start Interscope? He that started would... Interscope. Wow. Yeah, okay. he's the founder yeah, yeah, of Interscope, yeah. you know? And, and uh, like, you know, like I kind of saw that trajectory and it really kind of struck a nerve. And during that whole thing, like he was, the way he talks about producing in that documentary is very similar to the way I view product development. It's a job that needs to be done. But at the end of the day, no matter how romantic the job sounds, I mean, the job sucks. Yeah. It's, it's a shitty job. Mm -hmm. It's a shitty job. It's a thankless job. You're putting out fires all the time. And you get zero recognition and you get shit pay. Like that's what product development is, honestly. It, it's, it's, I don't know why anyone would want to be a product development person, but people are, you know? And I'm in sales. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was well, I mean, I was say. yeah, well, right. sales is, um, sales is where the money's at. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. Like sales is definitely where the money's at, but like, but product development though, it's, it's an art. And I think it's like, if you're really into making shit, yeah. that's where you want to be because that, that's literally the marriage of creativity and money. Got it. Like that's literally where the magic happens is yeah. in product development. You might not get the recognition that you want, but you seeing what you put in and the final product. Right. Like that, well, that's, that's, I mean, I think I think I think product developers make the best business owners. You know, and um, I really like, and it's really interesting because, like, I, I want to get back to Jamie Iovine here. Yeah. Is when he was moving from producer to businessman, he took the producer's mentality with him. Got it. And. It was really interesting because like when you hear the artists in the documentary talk about Jimmy Iovine, mm -hmm. they were really drawn to him because his conversations was never about money. Yeah. It was never about how much volume they're gonna move. Yeah. It was always about the songs they were gonna make, the music, yeah. their ideas, their concepts. The backbone of what they're gonna do. It's yeah. about the product. Yeah. That's the whole idea between missionary versus mercenary is this, is my focus is on the product, you know? The only time I ever count my money is making sure that it's workable for our business model. Definitely. You know, and that's why I always deal in percentages. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you're going to realize this once I start reviewing you is I, I don't I don't give a fuck what the dollar amount is. Yeah. All I care about is the percentage growth. Yeah. Are you improving? Are you getting better? If you're getting worse, how much? What percentage points are you worse? Why you know? are you getting worse? Yeah, because yeah. I, like, I don't like I don't like crunching numbers all the time. You know, I work a lot with Excel and I really enjoy it. But it's I, I just like it because it's a great organization tool. But at the end of the day, for me, it's just it's it's like as long as the money works and it's allowable for me, is this is you got to chase the best product for sure. You know, if you make the best shit, the money's gonna follow. Yep. Right, look at Apple. Look at Tesla. You know, it's the same shit. You know. Yeah. But Jimmy, I even really understood this. But it's like. You know, and they were talking about in the documentary how like when he started going through all these episodes and shit and everything like that, mm -hmm. it's like, you know, he signs like Nine Inch Nails, and he signs yeah. Marilyn Manson. Eminem. Eminem, like all these fools. 50 like, Cent. You know, 50 Cent, Gwen Stefani, all these people. Yeah. Look, man, he doesn't micromanage their aesthetic. No. He's not telling them what kind of sound they should have. Because he knows that they're artists, they're gonna well, do them. They know better than he does. Yeah. You know what I mean? They know better than he does. And, and for me, that's the same way I treat designers. They know better than I do. Yeah. You know? But for me, the only thing I'm gonna tell them is, just make sure you have some geoprints. I don't care what geoprints you have. Yeah. Make sure you have this. Make sure you have this. That's it. And and I rarely talk. I, I rarely care about anything else. I spend all my time focused on making the best possible quality, making the best possible quality. Yeah. And it's like that. That for me, that's everything. For like, sure. look, I'm paying the designers to think about all this stuff. And and for me, it's there's so many people that always prove me wrong for this. Mm -hmm. But for me, the way I work. I do not believe the best business owners are designers. Or for in the garment industry, actually. I do not believe that the best owners of business are designers. Yeah. For one reason or one reason only. Because design and any kind of creative, you know what the number one thing that I believe that they should have? What is Research. That? They need to know what's going on outside. Yeah. They need to know what's going on outside. Anyone could create art, okay? But the research, being aware of where everything is and knowing what's going on, I think is everything for them. For sure. So for me, the best designers in the world, they all do the same shit. Yeah. The best designers in the world, they spend more time on research.
But for me as a business owner, if I have free time, I'm not gonna be looking at trends. I have so many other things that I need to be worried about, you yeah. know? So for me right now is this, if you're the designer and the business owner, like if you're the designer and the business owner, you don't have the time in the day to be the best designer. Yeah. Because the hours you're spent looking at financial statements and looking at profits, looking at inventory and making sure that the sales are good, you know, doing all that analysis, figuring out how much you're gonna buy, figuring out which factories you're gonna work with, you know, like all this shit takes up time. For sure. And so for and me, it takes like, away from your creative it, process. Well, it takes away from the hours that you should be spending researching, yeah. you know, like building that base and knowledge of what's going on around you. Yeah. So for me, it's like I'm always gonna be hiring designers. I'm always looking for new designers. But yeah, but like for me, it's that's the big thing. It's and so I don't I don't want to be designed. And I let them do their thing. Yeah. But for me, the way I see it is this. We're small fish in a very big pond. Okay. As long as my quality is good, I don't care what painting goes on it. Yeah. I'll make sure it moves. Mm -hmm. You get what I mean? They're gonna come just for the quality. For sure. That's what I believe. Yeah. Like I said, workwear mentality. Yeah. You know, and I let the designers paint whatever the fuck they want on it. I, I don't really care. Yeah. Like, like that's not big for me. 